Wardy, another tough night. Do we file this on this one also under the uh, one to forget category? <laughs> Certainly, I think every every game you lose, it's uh, one to forget, isn't it? So, yeah, just listen. The two lads have got sent off. I think Dempsey's challenge is is ridiculous. He's, he's never going to get the ball. So it was a deserved red. So Marshy's just got caught on the wrong side of him for for the for the red card. So, but. Again, we, we have to be aware of what's around us. We we have to switch on as as defenders. So, listen, what will be will be, won't it? The, the phrase that comes to mind at the moment is it never rains, but it pours. I think going into tonight, obviously you had a new lad at the back, and then obviously you lose Marshall with the red card and Dempsey with the red card. Um, a few problems aren't there at the moment in terms of a few tough to deal with. Yes, definitely centre half. Certainly, I thought I thought Findelat was was brilliant tonight. I think for a lad uh, of 17 years of age, I thought he, he was brilliant. So. He was our best defender, and he's, he's, uh, he took it all in his stride. So he looks like he has a bright future as, as long as he's willing to learn and, and keep progressing. So, and I, and I think he will. Knowing the lad, I, th I think he's certainly got the appetite to, to go on and make himself better. So on that side of it, brilliant. Now we've got to go and find <laughs> another two centre halves, haven't we? To want to come in and play Saturday and want to uh, back these two up. Uh, one nil. You were starting to get back in the game. Was there was a the belief that you could nick a, nick a goal and then obviously with the second goal perhaps killed it off? Yeah, I think we, we look better at 10 men in the second half. I think that's sometimes the way. I think the 11, 11 versus 10, the, the team with 11 men seem to just take the foot off the gas, which is which is understandable because you've got the extra man. So we raised our levels. We, we seem to do a lot better. And instead of playing out, we, we went direct. So I think that probably suited us a little bit more down to 10 men. How hard is it to keep morale up at the moment? Because obviously... Performances haven't been too bad at times, but then you've had these defeats, which have perhaps been more highlighted by, by fans in particular. I mean, it's just about you just need that bit of luck, perhaps in, in the end as well. Do you? Yeah, well, we, we've just had a chat in there. I think it, it's easy to come in and do it uh, when when new people get introduced as, as manager or interim, as we was at the time. So it's really easy to to perform then. Uh, since we've been announced permanent, our performance levels have dipped to to the old. So it's a uh, that's something for me and Ben to observe, uh, and, and we'll change things where we can change things. We've, we've just been open and honest with, with the lads in, in the change room, so it's going to take time to, to get it right, but hopefully once we do get it right, performance will start improving, results will start coming. And no rest for the wicked, because you now have the long trip down to Royston on Saturday. I'm not sure when suspensions kick in, does Dempsey straight away, is it, I think, with the red card? I mean, either way, you've, you've, got, some, you've got some tough... I guess decisions to make and also is you want to bring players in as well, don't you, I guess? Well, yeah, we, we've certainly got to go and sign players, haven't we? Because I think at, at the moment we're, we're bare bones. Uh, obviously, the two sending offs have, have killed us even more. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a long trip. But it's, there's a long time till the weekend, so we'll we'll hopefully get things right from, from here to the weekend. And all we can ask is the lads to come in first, try properly and, and see where we go with that.